They scored the soundtrack to countless crushes, taking a generation of fans on a rhythmic ride of heartfelt emotion. See, it was just hysteria. There was this enduring emotionalism in Journey's relationship with their audience. They knew the lyrics and sang along. Journey flew to the top on the soaring voice of Steve Perry. The band perfected ballads and bombast, selling nearly 70 million records. But then their front man found the grip of fame too tight to bear. I told him, I just don't think I can do it anymore. I think I just want to stop. The joke was, you know, Elvis has left the building. There was no more Steve. He would just sort of tune out and walk away. And I'm going, hello. I never really felt like I was part of the band. I know, I know that's difficult to see, but I really always felt that I was the outside guy. When the lights go down in the city. Without warning, the band disappeared from view, leaving fans wondering if Journey had reached its end. People wanted an easy answer to a question that was hard, and there was no easy answer for it. The band was missing for nearly a decade when the world learned Journey was ready to return. But prospects for their spectacular comeback vanished in an instant. All of a sudden I started having acute pain in my left side and I uh, didn't think I was going to make it off the mountain. He phoned me and said, I've never been in this much pain in my life. Now, one of rock and roll's greatest mysteries unraveled. Journey Behind the Music. <laughs>